line here yeah. that is protection and privacy and it's on a sort of sliding handle here. What you do, you bring it up and this bit here, you see where it sits on oh, that okay, thing there? Yeah. And what would have happened, it was probably just not quite in the right place. Yeah. And the other problem is sometimes people put it up like that and forget. Right. So you need to get the magnet doing its job, which is in the corner there. Okay, yeah. They are perfectly good blinds, but they don't like wet, obviously, because they're made of paper. Mm. So, you know, don't leave it open when it's warm with rain. All right? When you've finished with it, bring it down. Give it some time to just settle itself down. And then it locks it in there. Okay, so that's how that works. We'll just put that back up again, just to keep the... Uh, window on this side got a cubby hole here passenger airbag and in here is a little storage area which you could put a bottle of water in if right. you've got the air conditioning on it will be nice and cool in oh, there. okay yeah as mentioned a minute ago this is the uh, access to the vehicle battery if you should need it okay um, okay and then under here we have the leisure batteries okay and this is the isolator for them so when you're not using the motorhome, it makes jolly good sense to turn it off, yeah? It means that nothing's going to take any right. draw from it, all right? So that doesn't affect alarms and trackers? No, no, because that's for leisure. Yeah. yeah, the other's on I'm vehicle, okay, yeah, fine. okay? Yeah. Here, you'll see the tyre pressures. They are very high, 79 psi. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. I've heard people fiddle around with the tyre pressure, or is that what it should be, do you think? Um, I think probably on a van like this, run it like that yeah certainly for a while yeah. and get used to it it is a van not a you know yeah. expensive motor car it's not a luxury motor car yeah, so yeah. the ride isn't quite as no. uh, sumptuous <laughs> but, it, but it's a solid ride yeah here is nice and straightforward diesel yeah yeah and add blue the add blue information will come up on the dash it will actually flash and say add blue mm. you've got about 300 ish miles before it will say right we haven't added blue I'm going to turn it off and right. that is a difficult situation then, mm. okay? But um, the time that it takes for it to tell you to add blue, again, depends on your driving style. So some customers have been around two, 2,200 miles, other customers have been as long as 5,000 miles. Right, okay. Okay, so it makes sense to, you know, at some stage pick up a bottle of Fiat Add Blue, but, you know, wait until you've done a couple of thousand miles. Don't, yeah. don't go and buy one yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't go out of date, but it'd be sensible to do that. And the key for that is, the Fiat key, because obviously we're on the Fiat side of it. Right, yeah? okay. Okay, so that's relatively straightforward. Then... So that key's for the um, the diesel cap as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, so here is your main tool cut. Yeah. So this is giving power to the van, so when you go on site, you plug in this end first, mm -hmm. and then into the site. Right, yeah? okay. And then we can see on the control panel that you're plugged in, so nice and straightforward. Yep. This is your toilet, so it's what they refer to as a cassette toilet, fairly standard these days. Most vehicles have a set foot um, facility, yeah. and it lifts up by lifting this little lever and then it'll come out. So when we're in the van in a minute and we're in the bathroom, that is what you're physically looking at, yeah? That, that physical thing. So oh, right, okay. when you use the vehicle, uh, the toilet I mean, you open that up, it all drops in there nice and safe. Yeah? When you come to empty it, these now have a fancy little handle. Yeah. You wheel it off to the place, <laughs> yeah, and then you empty it. And the way to empty it, now this is a typical newbie error, is to undo this. God, Pete, you've done that up tight. Ah, that's better. Yeah, but put it behind you. Right. It's quite common to put it here and yeah. then accidentally knock it down the hole. Oh, so that's okay, not yes. so good. So you no. don't want to do that. Okay. So you do that, you press this button here, which allows air in and the fluid to go out, all right? Um, if you're feeling brave, you can open this up as well, see the lots of air in, and then you take it to the hose pipe and give it a nice rinse out, and then you recharge it. And by that, we mean you put the fluid back in. And the fluid, if you read the bottle, says something like 60 mil for every 10 liters. Well, you just get through gallons of the stuff that way. Oh. So I say, pour it in the top, a glug of blue and a mug of water. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, you just, you know, it's a bit of a con yeah. The other thing that's in this little cubby hole is your waste water control. Okay. okay, so you've got a fresh water tank, and when you open the tap, it draws water from the fresh water tank via the pump, and it is collected in the wastewater tank. Mm -hmm. That will eventually fill up, so you need to empty it, and that's what this little tap here is all about. It simply goes in here, yeah? Yeah. And open to close, yeah? Like that. I won't do it, I'll get wet feet, all right? Okay. So, nice and straightforward. 
we will need to lock that. Right. Because nice new motor, nice new number plate, that would be a nice clean tank. And there are unscrupulous people who would like to extend a rather used tank for a nice new right, one. Okay. So be mindful. That you'll notice we're using the Adria fee now. Yeah, okay. Alright. So the grey grey water, is it that? Yeah, sorry, it comes out here. Yeah. Yes, okay. When you open it comes out here. So yeah, ideally you want to stay on this side. But right. you would normally what you would do is drive to the waste disposal point, which is normally a massive funnel. Be relatively close to it, just flick that and now it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not unpleasant stuff. No, no, It'll no, be, but... you know, that sort of thing. So turn around the vehicle, nothing unusual there, nothing unusual there, nothing unusual here, you've got your paint marker on here. So Your gas bottle is in here and it has a seal around the edge because this is sealed to the outside world. Alright? Right, okay. So there's a drop vent here as we refer to it. So should there be a leak from the bottle, a leak from this joint or anywhere here, and that's totally sealed from the outside world, it's gonna drop through being heavier than air and not cause you any issues. Right. Okay. To operate this system, you simply need to turn the bottle on all the way using the, the knurled thing at the top and always say turn it back quarter of a turn just so it doesn't stick yeah, yeah. and then prime it using this little thing here and it does say there what does it say it says two but i'll do three or four times not an issue okay okay and then you can lock that back up again because you don't need it anymore all right and we'll run around the other side in a minute yeah. i think you've had a reasonable look in here haven't you yeah so you sort of know where things are yeah did you see the waste, the freshwater tank here? No, if you right, can okay. just go through What that we'll do, we'll go back around the yes, other side. Okay, yeah. okay, so, oh, look, while we're here, there's a good window to show, because it's nice and easy, right? So the windows are on a, this one's a three thing. Pull it out to where you want to, and then do mm -hmm. the, yeah. no, that's it, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's, I'm doing it, Put it up. You have a blind and a fly screen, yeah? Uh -huh, yeah. So you can have air coming in that way or at night time you can have a blackout. When you finish with a window, bring it back down. Now night time, there is a setting there. See, you have a little bit of ventilation, oh, similar okay, finger, yeah. but for traveling, you need to make sure it's definitely shut. Yeah, yeah. and just nip these up. I don't need to have their necks wrung, but just nice and straightforward, okay? okay. So that's easy. So that's that one. And again, just checking while we're here that that window is in, not on the Insulation setting. Right, look around the vehicle. So we have water, and this is water in, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's on the Adria key again. So simply undo it and put water in. Now, we don't recommend you drink any water from the van, as in unboiled. But, um, you've got a hose in there, so you can fill it up with a hose. Yeah. On site, there's often a hose. I always take a 10 litre watering can. Mm. The reason I take a 10 litre watering can, I know how much I'm putting in. So if you're running a bit short on water and you've emptied a little bit out, you can just put another 10 litres yeah. in. Okay. Yeah. So that's something to be mindful of. Uh, again, right here, not quite really good. Back to this door now. So opening this one up, exactly the same scenario. Yeah. You just need to be careful with these, yeah? And when you've finished with it, so for driving it's like that. Yeah. Okay. This side you've got both the electric windows, his and hers got a lock for the vehicle and you've got the four-way mirror control which mm -hmm. is here yeah okay this is where the fuses for the Fiat car are shouldn't need them but that's where they are if you need them mm -hmm. I'll run through that a bit later on but it's fairly straightforward you've got front and rear um, fog lights and then this is your alarm indicator where my finger is here yeah so if we leave the window down when you lock the alarm you'll see that will go solid and then when it starts flashing, it means it's active. So that means it's it's checking all the individual right, yeah. points and then it'll do. So we'll leave the window down so we can check that in a minute, okay? Okay. Nothing unusual there. Uh, handbrake here, yeah. You've got your sun controller in there as well and your electro block. So if you just have a little sort of peek around there. Yeah. You see the blue cover? Yeah. Okay, yeah. The blue cover covers the fuses for the motorhome. Right, okay. okay. Again, you probably shouldn't need those, but that's where they are. Okay. If, I don't know, something goes not quite right. Right, so that's nice and straightforward. And then if so the sun controls that for the panel. That, that's for the solar panel, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's fine. So, put that over. Yeah. 
barbecue point here. So this has a nozzle here. This nozzle is what you fit to your barbecue. So you've got your barbecue here, your yeah. hose, you fit it to that and then pull that off, push that in, open it up, job done. Yeah. Yeah. So that's nice and straightforward. Okay, after you turn, take care. So if we look at the control panel, are you alright at the moment? Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah that's right. good. Um, so let me get back a bit. This is the main control panel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and it's all sort of LED and fancy stuff now. So I'm just going to turn the water heater off. You see in the middle there? Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to turn the main panel off as well. Right? Mm -hmm. So in theory now, everything is off. Mm. Okay? So when you get to the van, you think, right, okay, I've parked up, I've done this, plug the mains in, turn the system on. First thing you'll see here is you have a mains plug to identify that, yes, you are receiving mains. Right. And the second thing over here is a little tap, which means you've got the water pump on. Right. And that's how I'd normally use it. This is an indication of what's going on. So if we start from this side, this is the vehicle battery and it shows the voltage in the vehicle battery. Next one along shows the voltage in the leisure batteries. Over here, I'll go right to this end first, which is the wastewater. You see there's a drop at the bottom, yeah. nothing in there, and then the fresh water, which is showing about 50%. Right. So those four things are just information. If you want to turn the water pump up, on the water setting, pump off, pump on. All right. So just information there really, okay? okay? The next one along is the heating system. So this is diesel heating via Wabasto and it's ever so simple. That's on mm -hmm. and obviously the other way is off. There's no point in taking it all the way around here. Yeah, It's a 6,000 watt heater and all it will do is just make all the lights flash and everything. So if it's gonna be cold, set it running like that and then bring it up to about here. Yeah. It'll warm up very, very quickly. You've got plenty of outlets, so you can turn that off. Obviously, we don't need the heating on today. All right, so the water heater is the next thing. And you see it's flashing red? Mm -hmm. So that was the gas thing. So we go down one, up one, down one. Yep. And then when we go back in a minute, we should see the green light on, okay? So we'll leave that for a second. That is the thermostat for the diesel heater. So if the sun is beating in down there, it's gonna think it's hotter than it is. Okay. I think you've played with the bed, haven't you? Uh, yes. So this is a reset for the bed and the two yeah, up and down. Right, yeah, so yeah. we'll leave that for a minute. We'll come back to it in a second. Yeah. All right, over here, we have the sink. Okay. Uh -huh. So when you're driving along, potentially there could be air in the system. Yeah. So whenever you open it, always open it on the cold and always open it very gingerly. Yeah. Just in case you've ended up with a big air bubble. Uh, right, yeah. Okay, yes. okay. That's why we say open it on the cold as well. So it's not a bad system. It's quite powerful. Yeah. We'll just go over to the hot. And again, open nice and gingerly, especially if you've gone a good distance, there could easily be air in the system. I'll just wait for that to run through. You want to just stick your finger under there? It is hot, it is hot. So I'm just, oh, yeah. yeah, it's not um, it's not tepid, it's hot. <laughs> so, you know, be careful, which is what I'm saying. You know, don't quickly open it on hot when you know, because you'll get it sputtered. Okay, so right. I guess halfway point is in yeah. between. Them yeah, and so that. you've got cold there. Pop oh, there, yeah, and yeah. then the out bit is how much it comes out. Yes, okay, okay, nice big sink drain there. Mm -hmm. um, they don't drain like at home, but that's just how motorhomes are because it goes down there, around there, over there, yeah, yeah, and so on and so forth. So, this one here is your gas operation. So, we know we put the gas on because that was the first thing we did, but this is just like at home. We turn it around, press the button, and it's so clear. I can't see if that's a light, I can feel it, but I can't see it. Let's try the other one, which might be a bit easier to see. Oh, that is really clear, isn't it? You can see you can see the heat aids though, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can see my smell my burning hand. <laughs> so yeah, so be be mindful of that. Yeah. Mm. Obviously always make sure they're off. Nice and straightforward. Here we have your smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarm. Now we don't fit them because these vans are too small really. But when you go to bed. Obviously, you've got to take it out of a box, but I'd certainly put the carbon monoxide on the bed. Right. Yeah? Because when you're not using it, there's no reason for it to be carbon monoxide. Yeah? Mm -hmm. When you are using it, it will appear in pockets and move around the thing, and that's just how it is, you know, because it's so small. Same again with the smoke alarm, right? These two little fellas here are the plugs for the shower. Right. Right? It's all soft clothes. So, this one here, 
is a nice little drawer. This is a low down drawer, so this would be great for tins, anything that's heavy. Right. Yeah. This one here, again, that's the um, oven tray, mm -hmm. yeah, the grill pan. Again, this is great for your pots and your pans and heavy stuff. If you're gonna take real crockery as opposed to plastic yeah. crockery, which I prefer, that's where it wants to go. Mm -hmm. If you put it up there and it falls out, it will damage, it'll probably break, but it'll put a hole in the floor. Yeah. Okay, so be mindful of that. While I'm grilling around on the floor here. So, the grill is push and turn and press. You can hear it, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. I can see it okay, yeah? Yep. So let the thermocouple do its work and then release it, yep. So that's okay, that's working all right. And then back to the centre, and the oven is the opposite. Has it got an oven? Yeah, which way does the oven go then? Okay, that way. I'm going to do it from a distance. And again, you can see that firing up. Give it time for the thermocouple to do its work. Hold mm -hmm. the gas valve in manually, and then release the valve, and then you've got your oven there as well. Can you yeah, see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you've also got a light in there. Yeah. Oh, that's handy. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's a definite stop there. That's for when you're using the grill. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. While we're here, yeah. We talked earlier about isolation valves, or we might not have done actually, but these are to protect each individual component that runs off gas. So let's say you've turned these two off here and you're down here like this and you think, oh, I can smell gas. There's an issue here. Mm. You can isolate the hob, but everything else will still work. Right, yeah. Okay? I've been doing this nearly 20 years. I've never heard of anyone using it. The boys use it when they're testing stuff, but. This one is for the water heater. Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, while we're down here, <laughs> I knew I should have stayed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this little cubby hole here is access to the water system. So you've got the water system, you want to sort of get a bit nearer. Yeah. See these little fellas here? Yeah. One here and one here. These are the two lowest points in the van. Right. So when you come to winter time and you want to drain the system totally, you take the water through the sink waste into the waste tank and empty it and then anything that's left is going to be in that little section right. so you just simply open them up and it will just drop out okay and, and that is basically the system empty where, where does it go that one it's it's straight to the floor oh okay they, they are literally like that and they just go straight out so that's why you want to put most of the water somewhere else yeah, right, yeah. all right okay okay so up we go again so uh, i can't remember what's in this one Oh, nothing, that's good. So that's your hanging space and your paint seal yeah. service pack. Oh, and do you want to stand yeah, in there? Might be easier. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now I can't see what's going on up here. Oh, that's a cat. See a little blue light? Yeah. That means that's what's occurring. So, I hate this touch screen stuff. So this is, this is the temperature of the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, I would suggest that we go up one, which it doesn't want to do because doesn't like my fingers. Come on. Oh, I turned it off. I don't know why we just don't have buttons. The buttons are brilliant. I mean, buttons are obvious, aren't they? Yeah. This thing decides it wants to work. I'll turn it back on again now. <laughs> it's, you know. I mean, Shot okay, my so. My it, wife's yeah. finger's a bit like that. So. Yeah, I mean, it looks right. nice, doesn't it? All right. Like anything electronic, okay. give it a couple so of minutes. we need a new fridge now. Yeah, that's it. Fridge not working anymore. Handle here, very important. It's not pull. Yeah. It's this way and open, yeah? Uh -huh. So it's a nice little fridge. It's obviously nice and cool. Uh -huh. It was really nice, actually. Uh, and you have a freezer compartment there. Yeah. All right, so it obviously has been working lovely. And we would normally suggest, what I was trying to do, is put it onto four for you. Because we don't want you to run it at five. Uh -huh. That's too heavy. Uh -huh. And it's constantly running flat out yeah. there. But three might be in this sort of nicer weather. So another go. Oh, stupid thing. Oh, probably. Well, we'll come back to that in a second. But that is the on-off button. <laughs> it worked. It was on, and I turned it off. But I can't turn it back on again now. I'm sure it'll be fine in a moment. Right. So in here, let me just go into here a sec. So under this section here, we've got over here. We have access to the fresh water tank. If you remember, there was a filler there. Yep. This is it. So you want to make sure that's done up nice and tight, which it wasn't, <laughs> which is a slight worry. Okay, but you could put your hand in there and give it a clean if you thought it wasn't okay. particularly great. And then 
this is how the gauge operates and this black knob here is if you want to empty the tank All right, so okay. let's say you're in let's pick on france you're in france and you put some water oh my god it's green i don't want to do that so you don't want to run it through the system you'd simply turn this right. to allow it to come straight out generally speaking you'd never use that okay because you're going to put nice water in and run it through the system where would that go straight out the bottom what here straight yeah, literally straight through right, to the okay. ground yeah it's, it, it, there's an actual exit there all right yeah, okay. so that's pretty straightforward you've got more bed operation yeah. there put this one back on here you've got dimmer switches for your lights and these are obviously individually on and off yeah that is just a protection so you can have yeah. a sort of storage here now heating wise you've got quite a few vents here and that heating is quite effective so make sure that these aren't covered yeah yeah it's more for night time when you think, right, I've got a bed down, I'll show everything underneath. Well, obviously, mm. that's got to be belt borne in mind. All right? Yeah. All right, let's go back that way. Okay. You want to have a go at the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> I obviously didn't like my finger. There you go. Well hey. done. Ah, oh, you see? You're a pro. That doesn't want to... Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll, yeah. Uh... <laughs> um, it, I, I don't know what... I mean, yeah, yeah, it looks a bit better, but actually, what was wrong? I mean, I still remember the days when we used to have to flick the flint, hold the button in, <laughs> pray like hell it would light, but they never went wrong. Mm, it never mm. went wrong. All this electronic stuff is, is bonkers. Anyway, it's on now. I'm not going to touch it, but it, you can see where it is. Three or four is about right. Mm -hmm. Certainly don't run it on five. So we've done that. Right, okay. please swap places if you go yeah. that way. Yeah. Right, so this is the toilet now, okay? Mm -hmm. So you've got a light, or two lights. What's that bottom one do? Oh, mm. Pretty light, okay. So, remember I was saying to you the black thing that you see is yeah. exactly what is there, okay? Right, okay? So I set it up like I would at home. So at home, you'd go to your loo and it would look like that, yeah? You would use the loo and then you would flush the loo. Well, it isn't that posh. So what you do is there a lever here that you pull across there, see? Okay, yeah. And that opens the hole and uh -huh. it drops through. Then a little bit of rinse, job done. Put it back, and then you can either put water in or not. Right. And that's how it's used, all right? Simple as that. So really. the blue button is basically just fresh water going in there. That's it, it yes. draws water from the tank and I'm just rinses it, it okay. out, yeah. okay? In your pack, you should have some pink spray. Yeah. Which I'll just check. No one's people will have it. got the bathroom cleaner version which is actually better because that is a lovely thing that you can use anywhere in here designed by fit for the manufacture of the plastics i won't do any harm right just squirt that around just keep everything nice and tidy mm -hmm. uh, you seen the shower no, well, it's just yes. pulls across nothing complicated there yeah. you've got a hanging rail here mm -hmm. i always say it's for underwear okay don't put four pairs of jeans on there because you just come back and they'll be on the floor mm -hmm. yeah so maybe a hand towel something like that but it's small yeah uh, again, you've got another window. Yeah. Now that window, strangely enough, has got the push button option. So you've actually got to push them in to open them. Yeah. Yeah, whereas the others don't have. Just one of those quirks. Two sink plugs we've talked about, yeah? Yeah. Uh, nothing else in there, really, I think. It's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're going this way now. So underneath this seat, yeah. literally here, yeah. is the mains trip. So like you have in your house, you know, the big fuses right. on the main side. Probably don't need it, but that's where it is. We right. need to get to it. So you've got your table there, another set of windows, and that one has got push button windows as well. Yeah. All right. Come around to here, you've got your seating, obviously, so nice and straightforward. So if we just, with a chair, it's easier to just pull it across. Yep. Just do, everything needs to be done slowly, really. Yep. Why want to jump in from that side yeah, sure. or around here which is all what suits you and nowadays these are pretty car like yeah in terms of the um the way the steering works the way that everything works really it's very very quiet that's not quite locked in you will not just move it that way that's right what, see this up? little lever here yeah it should click so if you um leave the lever swivel it towards me a little bit oh, okay. and then swivel it back no it's not quite there and one more is that in? No, I don't think so. Let me just try this one. They do things like chain stuff without telling us. So let's just see. That's what it should do. Oh, okay. Okay, so you just want to be a little bit more yeah. robust with it. Okay. I'll just move this back. Open this up so we've got a bit of air in here. 
So how do you get the swivel going? The swivel's on here. Oh, okay. But it's see. open at the moment. So just move the seat. Oh, that's okay, it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's it. Okay, see? Yeah. Yeah. So one of the few things in a motorhome you can be a little bit more yeah. firm with. Okay. Fine. Good. Okay. So this is very, very car like as I was saying. The steering's nice yeah. and light. There's a little lever between your legs to make the steering wheel come up yeah. and down like you'd expect. You've got um, very good ventilation in these vans now, yeah? Four-way ventilation, hot and cold, speed of the fan, mm -hmm. where you want the air to go, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Recirculating or, oh, sorry, recirculating or fresh air, yeah. okay? Now the air conditioning will only work when the fan is on one or more, all right? Looking at this section here, heated rear window is obviously not real, it's heated mirrors. So this is for heating the mirrors. Okay. Yeah. This will lock the van. This is hazard warning, of course. This is lane departure warning. Mm. Do you have that in your car? Yeah. Yeah. I had it in a car I borrowed. It, didn't it? My God, I thought it was quite weird. Um, <laughs> Sorry if you're drowsy. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's three o'clock in the morning and you're driving back yeah. from Edinburgh, then perhaps it's a good thing to have. <laughs> but there is an off button. Yeah. Because I think a few uh, people found it very disconcerting when they it's were... Self-driving car, it's great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this one... Is because it's an automatic gearbox, you have uh, automatic braking. So this is for downhill. We're not talking, you know, a little slope. We're talking about Alps, stuff like that, real, real, real big stuff. Or if you know you've got a really big hill, yeah, uh, and you think, okay, just you know, check that out. It, it just electronically brakes the engine. This one is the Traction Plus. So it's front wheel drive. Yeah. If you put Traction Plus on, the wheel that's got the maximum amount of grip will be given the power. Right. The one that's slipping, it will ignore. All right, this is a... What do you suggest, leave that on or...? I wouldn't use it, the only time you might want to use it if you're on a bit of a slippery uh, grass position right. on, on a, um, a campsite and you think, oh, it's not going so well. Okay. Just give it a little bit of a set okay. up there. So this is also your gearbox, so park, reverse, normal yeah. drive, yeah? yeah? Pretty straightforward. And then we come across the steering wheel and it's controls. So you've got lights, indicators, yeah? Yeah. Automatic lights as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and down here, this is the cruise control. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, cruise setting, like in a car, yeah. and also speed limiter. So if it was me, I'd probably set that at 65, because mm. obviously your speedo is going to be at least 10% out, so you'll always be in the right position there. And then you've got your Bluetooth controls here, yeah. and over there you have your windscreen wiper. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then in that corner there, remember there was the fog lights. At, yeah. Uh, top and bottom. And a right-hand one is to angle the headlights right, which yes. you don't need to worry about yeah. it's when they put really heavy weights in the I'm back when they use them as commercial yeah. vehicles so that's pretty straightforward what's now, the mode button for there the mode button is a mini computer so up on your screen yeah. your keys have a little play so it's in so just goes to the first position it's obviously in park put the handbrake on anyway so it shouldn't be going anywhere Called. Might have a steering lock. Oh, yeah. These things are like these modern cars have got all sorts of. That's it. Yeah. One more position. You'll see the dash should light up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, if you press your. Well, see, there's your engine oil level. It's going to okay. go. It's, yeah. it's oh, not sorry, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you press your. No, it's probably going to freak out because you've got all the doors open. Okay. Let's shut the front door. <laughs> see if it's happy in the back. If you press mode. Right, so the dimmer is obviously what it sounds. Mm -hmm. If you go up and down using the arrows, oh, okay. yeah, you've got a speed buzzer. Now again, you could set that at say 70, okay, just yeah. to beep to remind you hmm. that you're actually going you know, yeah. fast enough, so to speak. The next one is the headlight sensor. So that's to turn that on and off, so obviously it comes on automatically. Uh, next one down is trip B. So you've got two trips, A and B, usual sort of stuff. Keep mm -hmm. going. Traffic sign recognition on and off again. Next one down. Set the time. Well, hopefully that's right. 11.53. Not bad. Pretty close. Next one. Set date. Obviously, we should be okay with that one. And next one, auto close. Now, that means it self shuts itself off from that. I would ignore that completely. Next one is units. So, we're setting miles, which is fine. Uh -huh. Next one is language. English is useful. Yeah, keep going. Buzzer volume. So, you can confirm how loud that's going to be. Next right. one down is... Service intervals, so you don't worry about that at the moment. Passenger airbag on and off. Next one is auto high beam, so that's automatically going to put the high beam on again, okay. up to you. Next one down, brake control, so that's your electronic braking. So again, on and off. Next one down, brake control sensor. Right, so that must be the um, 
on and off button for that as well. I thought that was over here, but you've got two versions of it, maybe like everything. Yeah. Sensitivity, maybe. Yeah. Uh, next one is exit. So pre exit. So <laughs> you press the that's it. So you're back to normal. So okay. Thursday, the eighth of July, eleven fifty-four. It thinks it's twenty-five degrees where that mirror is, because if you mm. look under the mirror, there's a little blob, right. and that's where the sensor is. Okay. Okay. So you've also got another trip. Is it on this one or that one? I can't remember the other one. So if you press the button at the end of the windscreen wiper stalk, so this. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should have right. So 402 miles because obviously it's new. Now it doesn't know how accurate that is because it's only done 52 miles yeah. in its life. So it's yeah. probably a bit more than that. So you press it again. That's the distance that's gone so far. Keep going. Consumption 24. That's not bad because it's only been fiddling about. Keep going. Uh, average speed, yeah, etc. etc. Travel, travel time, yeah. B, yeah, keep going. Keep going. And again, and, and finally there. Okay, right now you see you've got H here. Yeah. This means it's still in delivery mode. Right. Okay, so you press and hold the button. Just hold it in and wait. Your fingers crossed. It will think, oh, I don't want to be in. So now it's your motorhome. Okay. We're back to zero because right. there's an allowance of 60 miles ah, okay. for delivery drivers to right. take them on and off ferries and all that okay. sort of stuff. So we're right back to where we should be. So if you just press it again to get back to the time, keep going, get there eventually. And we are a little bit overkill, I often think, with these things. There's so much stuff to do. You forget the driver thing. Okay, so in the middle of all that, this thing came on. Yeah. So this is a Fiat. You connect, I think is what they call it now. Mm -hmm. So obviously you've got a radio, yeah. pretty straightforward, yeah. You've got DAB as well. Go back to home. You can Bluetooth your phone to it. Yeah, yeah. We've done that. yeah. You've got <laughs> media. Mm -hmm. So media comes through the USB. Turn the screen off. I'm not really sure about why anyone would want to turn the screen off. Yeah. That's it's upsetting you. Navigation should be preset. Obviously, like everything electronic, it will load. When it thinks about it. Okay. So it's working out where we are. Really quite effective actually, I mean that's pretty close. Mm -hmm. yeah. So back to here, then you've got your settings. Now you can play in there for days, honestly. The handbook's about that thick. But the user manual is online as well. Restore factory settings, just come back. So it's, it's fairly user intuitive mm -hmm. um, and you can play with it in that respect. On off is touch screen but see this touch screen works doesn't it it's easy yeah right so last thing to look about is this chap yeah. now there is where my finger is a little ridge which is what it's sitting on so you need to put it over the ridge yeah and then drop it down you see the ridge oh okay yeah yeah and then you just tilt it that way or yeah lift it? just just tilt yeah, it like okay. that and then lift it off okay so sort of and some it's not bad that's it on yeah? yeah yeah and then just pull it actually it's the other way so towards me and then drop it over okay right. yeah all right and we'll just pull that down for a minute just turn a bit of air in obviously you want to make sure that's nice and down all the way along yeah okay so that's pretty straightforward rear view mirror is semi useful okay. but not particularly so yeah. okay uh what else have we got i think that's about it at the minute so what i'm going to do is i'll actually turn the ignition off yeah. I'll grab some paperwork, give me chance to have a couple of seconds on my own, mm -hmm. um, and I'll bring that little checklist out for you to have a little yes, play with. Okay, yeah. So the idea is you go through a bonnet release, the already say it's over there, yes, yeah. tick. Anything you're not sure of, we can recap, sure. all right? So we'll leave you with it for a minute. Thanks. I'll just bring that thing out. Um, do you want a glass of water or something? Yeah, water would be nice. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm just going to apart on top of you, top of the blinds. 